Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 17, Week 7. Today, we're taking a look at the Blade Fury Burgers, the uh, Wizard team taking on Block of Cheddar, the White Joel Birch team. With me here today, as always, is the Doctor of Dota, Randy. That's not what you sound like. That's what Randy sounds like. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, half the time, anyway. Okay, so it's not Randy this time. So sorry, Block and Cheddar. You, uh, you're going Randy-free for another week. But the good news is, is that I got somebody even better in the form of Pages. Pages. If you've never, if you've never heard Pages before, now you, now you know what, what she sounds like. Interesting, uh, interesting assessment on the part of Block and Cheddar here, going after Ramanolo with his, uh, crowd of Paws 3s here. So bored. Lambert is bored already. I mean, I assume it's Lambert. Nobody else uses that line in this league, I don't think. Ember Spirit of Witch Doctor going down. This is a tough team to, to, to first ban against. I will say, given how given the performance that we've seen on the Ember Spirit so far in this season, which is to say, meh. I don't know if I'm that afraid about letting it go in the first round. You got so many guys. I mean, you gotta get rid of that Ember Spirit. You gotta get rid of that Dragon Knight. You gotta get rid of that Abaddon. And they let that Abaddon through, which is a little scary, especially considering Block and got first pick. Ten seconds. Remaining. They only have so many bands. Yeah, I know. That's what, that's what I'm saying here. Like, you got so many guys, it's like... Uh, you just gotta get rid of so many. It's a pretty unbalanced patch, honestly. Even even after the patch, it still feels a little unbalanced. I think maybe I would be brave enough to let the DK through over over the Abaddon still. Because they didn't really nerf him much in the last patch, did they? He's still top one rate, I think. VF gone. So it's an interesting, interesting set of bands. You know, you've got the 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 Ramanolo Pit Lord. You've got the VS, which Wizard has been playing a lot in the last couple of weeks. The Wyvern is interesting. It's not like they've been spamming it precisely, and it's not like I would say it's like a famous hero of Curry Spirit or Wizard. It's rather interesting. Spirit Breaker, first up bat here. What do you think of first pick Spirit Breaker pages? Kinda owns the gyrocopter that comes at us. Start banging in here. <laughs> do I? Uh, the gyro? You think so? Uh, well, it's support gyrocopter. I don't think support gyrocopter trades very well with uh, Spirit Breaker. Hmm. Remaining. You just charge away from the missile, and that's like 98% of what that guy does. And it can't even follow you closely enough to fire rockets. Or you can just tank through... Nice with yep. Or you can just tank through with your bulldoze. What do you think of the first big Spirit Breaker, though? I heard something about banging. Yeah, there's... some banging. So banging happening? Ridiculous. I'll put it on... Uh... Oh, I thought you meant the Spear Breaker was going to be doing some banging. <laughs> That's Got okay, we haven't heard any of it so here. far. Okay. No Viper. I'd like to see what the other support is. Yeah, it might not even necessarily be a support. I think Block of Cheddar's run this on Dusty before, and that's uh, Dusty as I think it's... Uh, it's, it's, I'm looking at OBS right now, not the actual game, because that helps the other person see better in, in draft. It, it, Dusty is on this team. Spoilers, he's got a silly name, it's like Laffy. Ah, uh, okay. He invented the Daffy, you see. He's run it before. No Necro. Or maybe he likes Laffy Taffy. That's true. I mean, he invented it, he likes it. That's true. Famously, Dusty is known for uh, eating, eat, for having a really shitty diet. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of thought going into this. That spirit breaker really threw them off. That's true. Well, I mean, it's a big ban here. 
again, this is a team where you got a lot of things to ban. It's a hard team to do this against, so... You're definitely having to put a lot of thought into your, uh... You know, what are they trying? What are they planning? You know, the ban the bans on the Wyvern and the Viper and the Necro... Like, the Necro I get, because Ice is kind of owned on that guy before. The Viper and the Wyvern feel like they're very specific bans, right? They're going to be picking somebody who is rather glass cannony, weak to magic damage, potentially has a nice passive to break with the Viper as well. But that's the first thing I think of when I see those two gone, is we're picking somebody who really hates magic damage, who doesn't want to be hit by a lot of it. Somebody made a glass. Maybe even a PA. I mean, people are starting to suddenly pick PA. Could be Terrorblade. People are suddenly starting to pick Terrorblade. I don't know if Coffee Cat is necessarily a big Terrorblade player. Axe is Does he play Huskar? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think he likes to play Huskar. I think he's one of those guys who kind of turns his nose up. It's going to be Joel, I met, of course. I think he's kind of one of those guys who turns his nose up. I think Axe is probably a pretty good, uh, pretty good, like, guess in the dark here as to what they're up to, honestly. I feel like, uh, most of the heroes that are going to be weak to the, the two very, like, specific looking guys that got knocked out are going to be the types of guys who really don't want to get up close and personal with Mr. Axe, don't want to get that blade mail on their face, tend to explode. Because, you know, they're not really comfort bands, right? Like... Jakiro, coming up here. You remember uh, back in the Season 12 days when every support was playing Jakiro every single game? Mm-hmm. Did you have fun doing that? Oh, yeah. Spectre into yeah, Axe. before that was, uh, Lion. Nice. Spectre and Axe! I don't like that. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, especially, uh... Considering that Coffee Cat is, you know, the Spectre is something he can play, but I would not say a, a particularly comfortable hero for him. And that Primal Beast might just make things even worse for him here. So now you've got a big dude who can, uh, smash you up with his Blade Mail, who can tank through what you're giving him stop you from escaping, and you've got a big scary dude who can pummel you a lot and has a stun that goes through BKB. So that's two things Spectre kind of doesn't like to see. And just the generally good Warlock. Goes pretty well with the Beast and the Gyrocopter in particular. Not the Axe so much, but can if you get a really cool call, I guess. You know, put the Fatal Bonds and he spins a couple of times and everyone just takes 10 trillion damage, so... Yeah, I like their remaining. drive so far. Five seconds remaining. It is kind of leaving openings here, though. Like, there's no timber saw ban so far, and well, comparatively, though, like, where's the Jakiro gonna be for all this? Probably. I don't know. It's hard to say. It could be Spirit Breaker three. It could be Spirit Breaker four or five. It could be. Core support line, probably going to be answered by the next pick, statistically, unless they're holding Dusty for last. But, uh... You know, like, the, the Dusty Timber Saw can come in on this. Fears really none of what they're bringing to the table with one item, and... Oh, there he is! Funnily enough, kinda owns all these guys! Which is a bit of an unfortunate situation here. Also explains the Viper ban, actually. So, things suddenly kind of suck. You're, you're absolutely going to need to, uh... You're going to need to get some... Something that can deal with the Timber Saw crap. With your last no pick. Deep. Yeah. But the problem yeah. is, they're, they're picking a pause one, and there really are not that many P1s that are all that great in a Timber Saw. It's like... Ten seconds. Well, I mean, you got Faceless Void here. Still unbanned, and I think that's probably your guy. Realistically. Kinda owns the Spectre too, which is nice. I don't know who the hell else you could pick, to be honest with you. Problem is, is that you have the Jakiro who's going to be able to easily interfere with ults through the game. 
Which kind of sucks, mm -hmm. but also that's kind of your best mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Puck. Yeah, they can't have Puck, or else they'd have the trifecta. You'd have the physical damage on Spectre, the pure damage on Timbersaw, and then the magic damage on Puck. So by that logic, they also better get rid of Zeus. Unless they're trying to ban mids that are actually good in this game, in which case they might consider banning somebody else. They are they are kind of in an awkward position here. Because they are going to have to answer two picks with one. They're going to have to be very cautious about what they let through here. Right? Because, you know, like, uh, that, that guy you were just talking about, Mr. OD, for example, could be pretty devastating. I mean, could have the occasional anti chemistry through with Thimbersaw or Spirit Breaker, for example. But also, being able to just constantly put the Primal Beast in jail whenever he's trying to do anything. Whenever, you know, just being able to lob huge pure damage shots at these guys is pretty annoying. And they're all pretty low mana, which is very good news result. So, you know, something like that getting through is really bad. But outside of getting called by Axe specifically, you could also pretty much say the same thing for, like, Quop, for example. Five seconds remaining. There's a lot of annoying things. Quop would be fun. A lot of annoying things that they could, uh, they could field here to really round this out. And then they would have to answer the Timber plus whatever that is. And that would be really hard. Like, you could probably answer one of them. Like, if you pick an OD here, it's really easy to make sure OD doesn't have a game, but you would have to, you know, your last pick and the resources that you would put into it would have to be quite a lot. Like, you know, even if you get the Void at that point, that's like, you know, that's at least two different people, the Jakiro and the OD, who absolutely have to be in your Chronosphere, and then you have to, like, do something useful within it, like, once you're there, it's like, it's a lot. You have to do something in it, and you really don't have anything to throw in it except for Gyrocopter. It's going to be Brewmaster! It's a little bit out of left okay. field. Is it going to be Joel in the Timber? Or maybe they're going to be sending Broom mid? I don't know if I like Broom mid very much. I don't know if I like the pick all that much, to be honest with you. I feel like Brewmaster suffers really badly against Dax. BKB piercing call. I mean, not like Brewmaster's probably going to be building a BKB anyway. But the call will easily take care of the actual Brewmaster ult. You can very easily get into a situation where you hit R and Axe hits Q and you die anyway. Ursa? No, 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 my friend, this is a terrible Ursa game! What the hell are you thinking? Oh no, bro, that's like horrible! <laughs> This is the- I'm gonna send a screenshot of this You're to Randy. You're taking a fire bath. That's true. I'm gonna send a screenshot of this to Randy. What were you thinking, <laughs> Lambert? Jesus Christ. Of course, he got you got to capture the OBS screenshot, which is very low quality, and it is indeed going to be Timber Mid. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I I absolutely despise this Ursa pick. It is actually dreadful. <laughs> there isn't like a single person that I'd like to see Ursa against on this team. The Timber Saw, that's it. Like he kind of owns Timber Saw, and that's like where the list ends. And that's only if he gets his hands on Timber Saw. Which means somebody else has to kind of already be owning Timbersaw for you, right? Like, if he's in the Axe Call, you can absolutely demolish him. And like a second flat to boot, it's awesome. If he's in the Primal Beast ult, you can just tear that guy to smithereens. The only problem is that this is like the best kiting team in the history of the <laughs> world. L l l l let's count all the ways, shall we? Okay. Oh, first let's fire. pause. Oh, uh, Coffee Cat says poo 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 so poo And then claims that it's cybernation time. I like how you're calling GG for them already. My thanks. Is it spring already? Wait, I'm calling GG? 
No re? You were typing G's in the chat. <laughs> oh no, that's just my push to talk. I know. <laughs> Uh, the... let's count all the ways, shall we? Spectral Dagger is a big slow, and then Spectre can just run into the woods and engage whenever she wants to. Timber Chain! Enough said. Brewmaster is got evasion and can just... Uh, does he still have evasion? Actually, this stupid guy... Well, he's got the... Yeah, he's got the Cinder Brew. He's got the Cinder Brew. That doesn't do it anymore, either. He does not actually have evasion anymore no he does in storm brawler okay jesus what what they, <laughs> you remember when this was just you you have evasion and crit sometime that was awesome and of course you got the primal split which of course is weak to axe but not weak to urza spirit breaker i mean again 10 gp lumberage gf bro you really got to keep better track of the economy 10 GP wouldn't even get you an Alcarid GF anymore. Don't be cringe. Spear Breaker. It just as a hero, as an institution. Jikiro, as an institution, everybody on this team has either a slow and escape or both. Fortunately, Sabo will not be uh, given the opportunity to... No, he will be. Wizard got his E level 1. Interesting. Not what I expected. So he's going to get away. Two for two on the runes. Yeah, this is the world's worst looking Eartha game. This is actually nuts. It looked like such a good Faceless Void game, too. Right? He's like, really it owns everything. about the space that they're going to create for him. So I don't... can just Roche and win. I don't know if the space matters that much. I think even if you're seven slotted, if you're seven slotted, these guys are zero slotted. I still think you pretty well struggled to actually do anything. At least the lane looks pretty easy. With that being said, now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the cast, the roll call. Four! Blade Fury Burgers. Pause one on the Ursa for some reason is Lambert, your former BFF. Pause two on the Primal Spirit, you've got Ice. Pause three, you've got Ramanolo on the Axe. Pause four, DJ Curry Spy shocking nobody by picking Gyrocopter again. Aww, says Dusty. And pause five, you've got the captain of the team, Wizard, on the Warlock, which is appropriate if you think about it. On the other side of the coin, on the block of Cheddar, pause one, you've got Coffee Cat on the Spectre. Pause two, you've got the White Joel Birch on the Timber Saw. Pause three, you've got Dusty, sponsored by Weatherspoons, on the Brewmaster. Pause four, you've got Shone, who really thinks... I mean, Shone, 10 GP is not even going to get you a bucket anymore, alright? That's not even, like... We're, we're not even talking, like, bronze dagger prices anymore, bro. You really got to step your game up on the Spirit Breaker. And pause five, you've got uh, Sabo on the Jakiro. And I didn't mention it, but uh, White Joel Birch is the captain of this team. DJ Curry Spice... Oh man, this is so crazy. Everyone in this lane is so low. Great use of the fairy fire there. He could actually potentially, if it wasn't for this damn creep, he could potentially just turn around and get rid of Coffee Cat here. This is so crazy, and Axe just does not give a crap. First blood. And first blood's gonna be ice. Okay. Let's see that happen. No, oh, this is just ice losing the whole war of attrition, it seems. See the actual moment there. I mean, come on, ice! <laughs> It's not how you land against this guy. <laughs> I feel like I very rarely... I used to hear that first blood quote all the time. I feel like I very rarely hear it anymore. It's very sad. Very crazy trade here at uh, top, in the top lane that ultimately did not mean much of anything. And you know... This kill that Joel just got on ice is pretty indicative of how this lane is going so far in general. 15 last hits, 5 denies, compared to 11 last hits, 0 denies. He's got, uh, about a level on him. Just shy of it. It's not great. And of course, also just got the bonus first blood gold, so... This timber saw is gonna be a pretty decently sized problem, and they don't really have an elegant solution to that on the field. Oh. No, Lambert. It's okay, he's going to play the symbols, and that's enough. It's okay, he has his Lotus. True, he has his Lotus, he has his Warlock. He has his really goofy-looking owl in a suit of armor career. What the hell is this? 
What a what a bizarre concept for a courier. This it's is. the new owl, bro. It's the new owl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little, looks like a little brew thing, doesn't it? It kind of does, yeah. <laughs> it kind of does. He's playing for the other side. Yeah. He's a spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. TF2 spy Lambert. Gonna get a kill and then go down. Kind of wombo combo perfecto, as they say. A little bit unfortunate for Shone that he died first, but uh, you get the pause one as a pause three. You're happy no matter how it happened, I think. Dusty no longer fatal bonded or anything. Can't pop his sav now, but he chooses not to because it's lint and he gave those up. Coffee Cat in a bit of a corner here, actually not doing too great as far as his uh, last hits go. About the same level as Ursa who just died, so you know. <laughs> oh, there we go, there's a Sav. And Brewmaster's back to nearly full health, has basically no mana, but doesn't use that much of it anyway. Shone is going to choose not to uh, not to attack Wizard. He's going to show Wizard who the better man is. Look at this nonsense happening here in mid. Oh my god. Ice chewing through bottle charges here as he's just getting run over. This is embarrassing. <laughs> so he's down eight last hits, nine denies, and now two kills. Randy always says a kill is worth three or four last hits. So make it that way you will. Of course, one of those kills is first bloods. It's like eight last hits. So basically, Joel is owning this game. That's the long and short of it. I guess it's not that surprising. It's very, very good. Uh, well, that and a couple denies. Yeah, that, that, that too. I like how Lambert's clan is grin. He's gonna be grinning if he gets this kill. It's a barrel, a lot dusty. You're not level six yet, my my brother in Christ. Dusty is okay. We've got very overconfident there with this positioning. Could have, I think a little bit more patience, and that could have been a nice sweep on uh, on this safe lane here. But uh, no such luck this time. Second Lotus coming out. Or uh, taking a trip to the secret shop to get his cornucopia. Which I always have to look the name up of because it's really strange and unfitting. I hear primal beast noises. Yep. That'll be about what happened to Sabo. Just gets right run over by the Primal Beast, trying to get his heat back. Sadly, does not even get the kill. <laughs> Joel gets his tower, and then they glyph immediately after. Whoops. Oops. Always a little sad when that happens. Con right, the Screwbreaker, is he going to cancel at the time? Yep. Yeah. Aww. He's, uh... He, he's not that crazy. He's just mostly crazy. Joel coming bot. He has DD. This could be very bad. Earth is, doesn't even have level 6 yet. Oh boy. <laughs> Wizard just gets absolutely demolished here. I gotta say that was a bit of an unfortunate spear breaker charge. Probably should have just been a little bit uh, more patient with that. DJ Curry Spice is here. Dusty is not super interested in this procession of events until right now. Rar says Lambert, who is going to take down the Brewmaster before going down here. Triple kill for the Timber Saw. As uh, old DJ Curry Spice really managed to accomplish there with joining the Conga Line of Death. Pages, uh, I gotta be honest with you. Okay, Ramanola just randomly dies at top. Okay, Pages, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if the Steam's odds are looking that great right now. No, that temp, that Timber was off his leash. Well, he's it's about to be leashed. Actually, uh, kind of forgot that there's still like a team here. Mega kill. They took to that triple ice. kill personally. Yeah, they did, and then they took the kill right back. He still ended up profiting from that exchange, ultimately. So his one his one death was almost as much as a triple kill was worth. 
Lambert says cringe. I gotta be honest with you, Joel. Lambert's right. He had no reason to be there. <laughs> Dusty <laughs> using his inaugural level 6 here. Haste rune on the uh, Primal Beast is just getting... is becoming the waste rune here. As uh, the Brewmaster just beats him up for so long. The Spirit Breaker manages to get there, and the two of them manage to, uh, to put him out of his misery. Nice little kill there for the Brewmaster. Poor Ice. You look at the net you worth just chart want here. Refilled? True. If you look at the net worth chart here. Oh my God, the timber saw. <laughs> ah, axe actually, good call there on the on the part of the axe. Actually, going to be quite annoying for Joel, as that's wasted a lot of his mana. But uh, it doesn't seem like it matters all that much. He still gets a double kill here under the tower. Almost solo. The Jakiro does show up, but uh, rather last second. No six yet. Blame mail is up uh, at this point on the Spectre. He was going to try and bait Wizard into throwing his Golem under the tower, but not going to succeed. Oh my God! That Blame mail almost killed Ice. Rest in peace. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Of course, Spectre is still gonna die though. Dink! Joel is going to come lodge his protest. As far as uh, <laughs> that that's concerned. Eight and two now on the timber saw. Luckily, they have a character who's really good at killing Timbersaw if Timbersaw is stunned for a very long time, like this. Never mind, they have a character who's really bad at killing this Timbersaw if he's stunned for a very long time. Oh my god, great! Great! T great ult by uh, Coffee Cat here. I had to think so long about what that skill is called. Great Shadow Step on the part of Spectre here. Puts the bear away, so gets the revenge for his own death. Ramanolo in a very awkward spot down here, looking to get the uh, ult on Spear Breaker. Actually, just going to get charged down. Ran right over. Wizard dying on the sidelines. This is <laughs> this is looking bull and shoe ugly, as they say. Pages, if you're the uh, if you're the warlock in this match, what are you doing right now? What's he got? Uh, hold on. Uh, he's got this. Okay. Your options are cry and abandon the game. Which one do you choose? I mean, they got some good vision up top. They just gotta, yeah. Sure. Move for that. Warlock ult. Dyer's middle tower. On one hand, they do have good vision up top. On the other hand, uh, it's a little a little hard to say they could do that much with it, considering, you know, even when they know where Joel is, it takes a 5v1 to kill him. <laughs> all it takes to prevent him from being dead is... Uh, all it takes it to prevent him from being dead is uh, another person being there with him. Coffee cat. Just, uh... Oh. Oh, no, bro! Oh, my god. <laughs> Con, El Wombo, Combo, Perfecto. Uh, Coffee cat overstaying here. This is gonna get absolutely demolished. He came for nothing. Yeah, he came to get the kill on the Ursa. He did participate, and it got that <laughs> gold at least, but... Problem is when you uh, turn somewhere gold. Yeah. Yeah. When you stay in a place like this, when you're very low and still a pretty squishy hero, all things considered, not so great. Joel, of course, is now here and is going to play cleanup crew. I think it's interesting, by the way. At this point, they're able to, uh, you know, they're getting this much done, and they did not have Joel in for that. He did not show up until like the end of that nonsense. What is this uh, walking right into Spear Breaker is the answer. Unfortunately, you cannot charge into these guys. You did just knock Joel, not Joel, you did just knock the Dusty 
off his pedestal there, and Coffee Cat comes in once again. The second he comes back up, he has the same swagger. Jumps <laughs> right on the guy, and yeah, they do. They're basically the same person, except one is white and the other is dusty. Racist. It's okay, he's white too, but he's not called that. And Timbersaw says, hey, 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 like three times. Spectre's actual net worth feels a little anemic for how much they're balling here, but that doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I mean that's because she died twice, of course. I mean, it doesn't really matter yeah. that much. You know, usually this will be like, oh no, this is a horrible problem. My Spectre is so behind. But in reality, I mean, look at this nonsense. Like, Ice... He's just getting absolutely... It's Joel. Annoyed. He hasn't been... Yeah. No, Spider hasn't been doing much outside of the lane yet. By the way, you like Coffee Cat's sponsor? I don't know if it's showing up very well on Discord. It's like a little cat face. <laughs> some three? Yep. Oh. Spectre absolutely just wants to get this kill. My Spectre is just like jumping in every fight at 15 minutes and actually winning. This is how this game is going. It was like the dream Spectre game. Like, she doesn't even need a farm and she's already outscaled everybody. <laughs> Primal Beast going for a Beast KB here. And uh, I feel like I've been saying this a lot recently, but it's worth saying again. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that does it here. I think uh, Joel is getting baited. <laughs> Goodbye, Joel. Getting a blade mail instead. Mm, you know what? Yeah, I think that would be a uh, that would be decent, even if you lose a lot of that into pure damage. Oh my god, Dusty actually just died through old, said. Fellas, where's, where, where is team, fellas? You're ahead, but you're not going to be ahead forever if you keep just throwing your lives away like that. Anyway. That's what I'm saying, they're all, they're all so fast moving. Jakiro is slow. That's true. Jakiro is slow, that is true, but also, you know, the fights there are also <laughs> incredibly slow. My 15 minute Ursa Paddle Fury, looking good. I think that's just, I think they're just getting cocky here at this point. I think they're just like, Roy, we won this game, in it? Uh, no possible way anything can go wrong. I'm gonna go 1v5 because it's funny, in it? Bro, that's what they're saying. That's exactly how Dusty slash Joel sounds. And I think they, I think it will, you know, you can't be too cocky. I think that's something that's, uh... Honestly, I think it's something that's hit this team before. Really. Perhaps not in this incarnation of it, but it is something that's hit this team before. The uh, Kaya up on the Timber Saw now directly just walking over to the Axe, but unfortunately uh, just Timber chained the hell away. Not like it really matters. He's just dead anyway. Took a very long time to get rid of that last inch of health, but what are you going to do? Also, if you want to talk about slow supports, I mean, the other support looks like this, so you know. What a flex. Just walks up to, to Primal Beast just to show him that he's not afraid of him, and then charges to somewhere more actually relevant. You know, speaking of vision, you know, at the very least, it does feel like uh, Radiant's vision is just generally superior to Dyer's. Dyer only has just a couple of sentries out. I think this is the only obs they have on the entire map right now. Joel getting himself in trouble here once again. There is this one tree. Joel, get to it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the Ursa uh, defiantly still charging through. Axe chops the Jakiro down to size. Oh, that's lame! 
Brewmaster is broken by this crappy little creep camp. Not like it matters. Ice is dead anyway. Five for two. Pretty unfortunate that they lost the Timber Saw on that, but they're walking away with 2,541 gold. I don't think they're that sad, especially considering one of the biggest beneficiaries from that is Spectre. And it's like... You do have the axe to answer the Spectre, just like you have the Eartha to answer the Timber Saw, but boy, I shudder to think of the time when both of these guys are good, you know? <laughs> Coffee Cat, you wanna- there we go. It took a long time for him to decide he wanted to do something there. In fact, he took too long for him to decide he wanted to do something there. I guess he's just waiting for his Manta, but... Slightly unfortunate as uh, Brewmaster faces five and doesn't live. Primal Beast is showing Spirit Breaker how to charge things. Spirit Breaker, my, my brother in Christ. My brother in Christ hit Q! He's charged! My brother in Christ hit Q! What the <laughs> hell was that? You can see mid the whole time. This line of creeps was here the whole time. Very bizarre. Guess was worried about walking into a trample or something, but... It's far less Trample's scary than what actually happened. Yeah. My brewmaster has radiance. Jesus Christ, that's the lowest net worth core in the game. He's got, I don't know, the second lowest net worth core after Ramanola, who is sadly lower net worth than the Spirit Breaker. Did you just say Jesus Christ? No, I'm not a rat. The, uh... The, this poor axe. He did just get his Blink Dagger in, I believe, coming in on Courier, yeah. I gotta tell you, I don't think the, I don't think the Vanguard actually does anything for you this game. I think this is one of those situations where it was better to have not just tried to reinvent the wheel. Would have been better to just go for the uh, veil here. Because, I mean, you know, Timber Saw doesn't right click you to begin with. The Brewmaster is decent against him, but you're very good against him in any case. Doesn't do anything for the Spirit Breaker, doesn't do anything for the Chikiro. Doesn't do much for the Spectre, given the. Uh, Disper not the dispersion, the desolate passive, because that's just pure damage going right through you. Uh, Rip Wizard died of Tormentor. <laughs> Jericopter gets a free uh, missile, and why did Ramanolo just die? Oh, he just got jumped on by everybody in the world, holy crap. <laughs> that was a lot. Did he just ult right before he died? <laughs> just ulted in protest? <laughs> Going for his blade nail next. Arguably, another thing that you could have gotten instead of the uh, the vanguard here. Well, does it have a mini stun? Maybe he was just trying not to let them get the kill. No, no, it does yeah, not. No. It was just one. <laughs> it was just his protest, dude. It was just him showing his disapproval of the radiance actions. Timber saw taking down another tower here. Get, buying the shard up on Timbersaw in this game not might not be a bad idea. It's usually a little bit of a weenie item, but like in this game, these guys push is like, here's how these guys push towers. Jakiro, period. <laughs> like they don't they don't really have anything else. I mean, the Spectre could hypothetically do it, but only after everybody threatening is dead. You know, you don't want to you don't want to go first with that. Four man smoke here, jumping right on top of Jakiro. Max, hold on, cool down. Shame. Wizard is going to completely eat it here. They uh, do a good job in that fight. It's like they were in, they were anticipating getting intercepted. Lambert was in position and knocked down the timber saw here, but did not actually get to get the job done. They do oh. pop the they do reveal the BKB, I believe. Yeah, no, that was the eight second BKB to get rid of the uh, specter. Oh my god! Look at this, Chad. Come on, baby. My god, where's the bash? Spirit Breaker just allows himself to get killed by the tower. They kill inexplicably going Next to uh, Shone. That's where the bash is. That, was, uh, that brings a new meaning to the phrase 17% chance. Yeah. 
Radiant posturing aggressively here. They know they they don't have a Jakiro to worry about, but they can't actually catch any of these guys at the moment anyway. Kiro looking for a wisdom rune here will not be finding it. That was when they did the torment here here anyway. Slightly unfortunate. He came all this way for nothing. He is going to drop some vision down around this area, though. I would be a little surprised if anybody was around here anytime soon, i got to be honest with you. He is, uh... Oh, go ahead, you got that, get that T1 top, though. It's true. He is correcting the deficit of uh, dire vision, though, unfortunately, I don't know how useful the, the vision over here is. Dire have successfully scanned out Ursa. I don't know if they know that uh, Ursa will not be operating alone here, but they do have a pretty good... Okay, Rip Wizard. Just got caught out of mid. Here comes Sabo. A theoretically good ice path, well, yeah. but everyone kind of gets out of the way. Yeah, you're gonna... Lambert completely ignoring this fight for the Aegis. He, uh, he may regret this decision. Ice walking into all this nonsense. The Brewmaster ult is here. They're going to uh, wait out a lot of the time that the Ursa ult is underway, and they're actually going to get the double kill on him. Great use of the Brewmaster tornado thing. Coffee Cat's coming now. The uh, Primal Beast does get one more kill, but then finally goes down to the Spectre, so... All that being said, six for one. Six for one trade there. All they get for it is Jakiro. 3,069 gold passes into the hands of the Dyer, predominantly into the Timbersaw and Spectre. That was maybe not the play. Timbersaw approaching the Shiva's Guard, though with the uh, massive price nerf to Shiva's Guard, he should be getting this around uh, 30 minutes or so. Spectre at this point is just... Finding supports, killing supports has gotten a, uh, yep, an orchid. Nice. Yep. This is kind of what I was talking about with that whole uh, that whole timber saw shard thing. He doesn't really. He's not really got the ability to push towers at all, actually. Lambert is doubly bored. What do you suggest for Lambert to avoid being bored in this? Damn! <laughs> Ice cold. One v one, me bro. <laughs> he would lose that Lambert. XD cringe. Hashtag Gotham. Now, sorry, he's not here. He's not in this game. Oh, Sabo lives. Sabo lives. This is a. Uh, Great ice bath, but Joel is in the worst of it. I see him falling down as well. Actually, the entire core trio going down there. Great golem, and Lambert has a rage quit. Sorry, door. Joel, Joel's getting impatient. His G's got capitalized. Never mind. Very good, uh, very good run in there by the uh, Primal Beast as well. You know, it's uh, I do think it is a very good sign for morale. Okay, he's getting you're getting a little crazy, Ice. Yeah. It's a very good sign for morale on this team. I think that Ice is not like given up. Right, like, I think in this situation, a lot of people would just say it's over and just be playing at, like, 2% capacity. But he is indeed still actually trying. Sean, once again, I must remind you, my friend, you have vision, bud. Just, just charge somewhere else. I don't know if he had vision top. I don't think he did, but my brother in Christ. <laughs> it's not what this hero does. Expired. I like this statue's name, though. Is lowercase face ball. And this statue is named absolutely nothing. You know, I don't think I've ever looked at this t this lineup statues. 
Good news, Sabo. You just lost 25 MMR for everybody who viewed this video. That's right. You've lost, like... Well, counting us, it's like... 275 MMR, baby. Yikes. Maybe less, because I'm uploading... Somehow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We're sandbagging him for next season. Well in advance. Yeah. Rufaza, you'll scepter. I can't wait for him to, uh... Can't wait for him to accidentally troll himself with us. And I always thought that... You, you ever had one of those, like, fake lightsabers? Like the toy lightsaber things? Mm, I've had the fiber optic things, but not, like, the lightsabers, no. Oh, I was gonna say, uh... Have you ever had anything that's made of that kind of, like, dinky plastic... It's like vaguely hardened, but the first time you like uh, you like squeeze it or something, it just bends and it never it never is the same way again. Are, did you have problems getting your lightsaber out? No, they make a pill for that now. I was just gonna say, Yule Scepter looks the exact same way as that. It looks like the first time you grip Yule Scepter too hard, it just goes dink and just just like collapses. Basically, it looks like a toy. A cheap toy. And they make you pay 2625 almost said 2300 Make you pay 200... It does it looks plasticky, yeah. 25 gold for that. That's as much as a blink dagger, you know? That's like a real thing. He already has a blink dagger. That's true. I'm just putting that up as a comparison. Shiva's guard is in. He uh, beat my prediction by one minute. Also, is no longer the top net worth in the server. Ice is actually... Uh, taking that position at this point, which isn't surprising. It's, it has felt like he's the only relevant member of the Radiant right now. Mutual Smoke here gets busted. Awkward little situation. Ice's first initiation completely fails. Just lands right on the ice path, though. With the BKB, he's kind of 1v5 in here. Oh my god. Lambert grabbed Jakiro. A wizard bought back and actually immediately die back for it. Very brave TP almost works. Holy crap, that was almost. close. You gotta go out of vision though. Gotta head behind yeah. the tree. Holy crap, he actually TP'd out and then died of uh, of another tick of damage when he was in the fountain. So they're having some pretty bad primal beast problems. It feels like this guy is with the comp. The combination of him, the Warlock, is just owning everybody right now. And it's giving Lambert the ability to actually have something that looks like a game, which isn't good. And that, that fight that was... That Beast KB is working out pretty good, then. Huh? Yeah, that is. Freaking better than I thought, I guess. Uh, in fairness, the BKB itself didn't do anything. The BKB is doing <laughs> things in conjunction with the items he bought afterwards. Board. Uh... <laughs> Getting ping. We're just gonna look at this for the next three seconds. But, yeah, they're having issues with this primal beast fella. Having issues dealing with this BKB in combination with that Ags, that Shiva's. The Ags in particular is really, really nasty for these guys. They're gonna clean up the yeah, axe, like at the least. We're gonna trade, uh... Do you like the rock throw? Yes, I do. The rock throw is funny. It's not the most practical skill in the world, but it is funny. And that's the real important part. Offensive glyph here, as, uh... Well, like a cheddar is actually coming in from behind here. They're coming in through the twin gate. Kind of going for like a pinch here. An interesting way to uh, to fight this battle. My booze and buddies are on the scene immediately this time. Once again, Coffee Cat in the deep of it, getting just hammered by the Primal Beast, but I not working out this time. Lambert, who was on the back line this whole time, was uh, fortunately for him still visible, and now he just dies too. Five for nothing trade there. After after it felt like they started owning for a while. 
What happened, Lambert? That's a great question. I think that really was just down to uh, no golem in that. Lambert noob. Could you, uh, could you please you read that? Him? Could you please read this one for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, rip, rip Ramanolo. Jesus Christ, this poor Ramanolo guy. Every every second of the day, this dude is just randomly dying. It feels like he's not even in this game at all. Lambert doesn't know it yet, but he's soon to be millionaire. Well, he's got to pass you on the net worth charts first. Right now, he's only at 10,000 air. Another spot where the uh, timber shard will be awesome, but not ultimately necessary. This is the point when it would be really awesome. As it stands, they do not actually finish the tower and have to turn the hell around. I like the little mini, mini guys here. Oh, nice, nice, nice little combo there. Oh no, Ice walked into the ice path. That's kind of appropriate if you think about it. He's gonna walk on the Jakiro. Feels like. But Ice just used like everything he had in the pursuit of killing the Jakiro. Lambert is going to point guard for him and make sure that nothing worse can happen. Joel, this is not who you want to be, like, worrying about. Guys, this is not who you want to be worrying about. The, the, the wizard is small change. Leave him alone. What the hell are you doing? Both of these guys just ignored the entire rest of the fight to just run at wizard left coffee cat high and dry. That was awkward. Uh, no two ways about it. They didn't even get him. That's the worst part. They didn't even get the bastard. Oh. Gonna stop the... Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, because of the Roche interference! Oh, no, no, never mind. Ice <laughs> almost died. It was very close. <laughs> Axe getting the second Chiba's guard on his team. Spoilers, this is always cringe. This was already cringe, and now that it's like a billion dollars, it's like super cringe. Super bad value if you already have one. Don't do this. Hello? Uh, Hero? Lambert just taking a bath in this uh, macropire. Romanolo is about to get reminded. Never mind. That was an uh, interesting time to turn around. I guess I didn't know that the Ursa had uh, absconded. Primal Beast has finished up a heart here. Once again, back on the top of the net worth charts. This uh, specter has been queuing this bloodthorn for my entire life. Has picked up a BKB, which is not what you want to see happen as a specter. Like, you always hate to buy that thing. Free shard for axe. It's a weird counter helix thing. And it's a little, a little awkward, but it'll work. Ah. Don't worry, that, that thing's not too important. Timbershaw looking to get himself an axe here. Not a bad idea. We'll just let him tank through some of the uh, worst punishment that is going to be falling upon his head. It is going to be a little interesting to see what exactly he gets rid of to stick the Aghanim Scepter in. Considering he for all intents and purposes, is pretty much six-slotted. So he's probably not going to have this until he gets uh, a blessing for it. Or at least he's not going to have mana boots, and that's going to be kind of equally bad. Master's finished his AC in contrast. Some people looking at uh, looking at the Brewmaster here. 
Uh. Oh my god, he barely gets to uh, call on his bosom buddies. Both teams seek to intercept this turn of events. Uh, nice play by the Spear Breaker, they're just following up on ice. Romanolo looking very dead. Spear Breaker charging through to get him. Lambert sitting in the middle of the uh, Macropire for his whole life. Brewmaster has, uh... Brewmaster has come out of his ult and dies immediately as a result. Shone charges into the, uh... into the... Agonims from the Primal Beast and dies immediately. Fight's still kind of going here. Well, fight was still kind of going. They don't want to pursue it anymore. Four for two trade there. Looks like a three for... Nope. Joel, you maniac. No, Joel. Four for three trade here. It looks like it was three for three, but the reality is they also took the uh, Aegis. And that is kind of worth a question mark. I'm not going to lie to you. He was bored. He's so bored. You lost that fight like you lost America. Do see you die. <laughs> Do see. <laughs> Ursa having a uh, hard time getting through back for protection. Ursa, or er, Jakiro, macro pirate. Macro pirate, Jakiro, macro. Jakiro. It's okay, they had a glove. <laughs> there we go. They, uh, they kind of forgot to get rid of this tower. It has 16 HP. It has literally one attack left, guys. You can just hit this and not have to worry about a glit. Nope, okay. Do you, I don't think they realized it. I don't think they realized how close this tower was to death. So it is now going to die in one hit, even through backdoor, unless it's glyphed, which it can be up. Uh, 1v1, nope, never mind. Coffee Cat, not brave enough for this. He should be, why is he leaving? Ursa's, if anything, in, in the most danger here. Sadly, the Orchid does not come out until uh, his ult already has. They're pulling everyone in the world to try and come save this guy. Yep, all the ults coming out here. It is not going to ultimately be successful, as Ursa is going to die. Coffee Cat tries to go home, but uh, gets caught. That uh, Primal Beast ult goes through BKB. That would have been a super worthwhile trade at Ursa not bought back for it. But because Ursa bought back for it, it's uh, only equal. It's also going to mean he's going to have to be very careful with how he plays out this next life, given uh, that he's not really done building yet by any regard. Still got to upgrade Blink, still got to upgrade Morbid Mass, still got to upgrade Skull Basher, Teehee. Given that he's not really done by any stretch of the imagination, Lambent Noob, yet. The, uh, three? Ursa definitely has to be very careful about his next life. He just kind of casually spills it for nothing. He's down forever. He's going to lose so much ground against this team. And he's already down just by, you know, being an Ursa. I mean, he's talking a lot of trash and all chat, but this is like a lot of, you know, his team throwing grapes in his mouth, you know what I mean? He's a noob cubed. That's true. That's what that way was. Yeah. Noob cubed, is that like, uh, nerd to the third? Nobody even knows who those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. They used to collab with Ashens a lot. Not so much anymore. I think they just do like random like once a year events or something. Hero's got himself an A on dust now. How nice. Now we'll let him survive through Chronosphere. I don't know what Dusty's so afraid of. If nothing else is there's not really any commitment to throwing Cinder Blue on the Cinder Blue. Cinder Brew on the wave, right? Cinder Light Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh this is actually super awkward. 
Everybody on the dire is on top right now. Everybody on the dire is TPing here. Oh no, Joel. Joel got a tree that was like one inch, but it's okay. He got a. Never mind, he's not out yet. In fact, he's silenced. Got mine broken there. <laughs> Desperately trying to escape. But, uh, will not be getting out. This is rather unfortunate. Feels like maybe it would be good to see one of his uh, goon squad get a Lotus Orb, like especially over this BKB on the Spirit Breaker. That's quite greedy for his support in this position. Like picking up a Lotus Orb, you could at least slap it on the Timber Saw. You could at least enter the uh, the Primal Beast hole, you know. They do, in fact, get this T3 tower down before the. Uh, Oh, this gold is still here. They do, in fact, get the T3 tower before the back door or er, the glyph comes back up. Oh, oh wait, no, that wasn't cringe. That was just because the axe is there. Well, that's awkward. Wants to finish his heart, dude. Ice, uh, going for a second building here. Uh, may have stayed slightly too long. Is going to get silenced, I figure. Probably not for long. He actually does let his entire silence go out there before the BKB comes on. Uh... Okay. Team does not make it in time to actually do something about his untimely death. And, in fact, there's going to leak another one here. As, uh, old DJ Curry Spice, not looking so hot. Lambert is once again very bored. Everybody is pointing out the dire bounty runes. Oh boy. The, uh, Warlock just gets absolutely annihilated and then has the Golem on death just to give Coffee Cat a little bit more money. So, two down with the buyback. It was three originally. They're going to try to go uphill now. Spear Breaker is going to go down without much of a fuss. Again, Ursa is in a terrible spot here. He bought back. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. Lamb bad. Even down mid. Shone is uh, speaking his own language, his own native language in all chat for once. Which you don't really usually see him do in this league. I wish my timber saw had Agam Shark. Instead of the eggs, he never finished and couldn't use anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. These two are going to come uh, sacrifice their lives for nothing. Axel and Sand for this. Going to come out and make one last stand. Remember, so, though, now has the double chakram trait from level 25, which is pretty scary if your name is either of these guys. Golem coming out here. Con, El Wombo Combo Perfecto, Ice is dead once again, he has his buyback. He is gonna try and uh, get a little buyback action in, but sadly for him, his Ancient is not going to make it. That was quite a match, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that was kind of boring. Yeah, true. The, uh... I think I'm in the Houston chat again. The ultimate uh, assessment of this is pretty simple. This is just get down to those uh, those draft issues I was talking about all the way back at the beginning of the game, which is very unfortunate. The combination of the Primal Beast and the Warlock, the combination of Ice and Wizard, played a very strong game here. I think they, plus the Jarecopter, really did a good job of uh, helping this team hold on. You know, the Ursa KDA looks really impressive, but the Ursa KDA was also mostly comprised of kills he was getting within the Warlock, um, within the Warlock Golem stun or within the Primal Beast stun, right? 
We're within the call once in a while. Poor Ramanolo just felt like he had fallen off the face of the earth here. Felt like he had no game at all, but the uh, the the problem is though, all that needed to happen for a fight to be ruined for these guys, literally all that needed to happen is for Ice to just have one lapse in judgment, for him to just make one mistake, as we saw in the deciding factor in the deciding battle of this game. Like the very first time, Ice was like, "Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm." I'm uh I'm hot shit. I'm top of the mountain. I can just go bot and push this instead. You know, I'm not scared of these guys and just die casually. That was it. His the the rest of his team just got completely routed in moments. There were some issues on the block of cheddar lineup's gameplay. In particular, the Timber Saw and the Brewmaster. The the British boys, they got way, way cocky at different points in this game. Just taking on these massive ungodly fights that they were not qualified to do. And I'll, I'll, I'll spoil this much for you guys. The reason that this team got to do anything was because of those, of those like, those deaths. The reason that this was not like a 20-minute game is because of those deaths, right? If, uh, you know, you've got a Spirit Breaker on your team. You're allowed to play it a little bit safer than that. And it uh, felt like it also did take the Spectre. I mean, Spectre had an awesome early game, but had a very rough mid-game. It felt like was building the uh, Bloodthorn up for about half an hour or something crazy like that, right? I got the Orchid pretty early. That was awesome. And it took forever to follow it up. I don't know. It, uh, it did seem like a little awkward, but the, you know, just a lot of cockiness coming out. But... Very strong performance, nonetheless. Let's see what happens with this team next time.